The next speaker is Lizia Harmony Wolf. Lizia was born in Malaysia and grew up in South East London. She describes herself as having a really loud conscience and a stubborn streak, which meant she refused to do as she was told. Might be like quite a lot of us, I think. She feels her purpose is to form connections between the innermost parts of herself and the world. Lizia, over to you. As for my introduction, I'm Lydia. I turned 20 this year, and I'm lucky to have met and lived with so many different people already. I grew up in South East London on various estates and went to school with kids of different faiths, all of human race. This meant that as I've come across people with misconceptions about others, I've been able to stand up to them and say that we do not behave the way yet another sensationalist news headline will have you believe. I started fighting misinformation and hate on the school playground. Growing up there in Bermondsey, Deptford, Lewisham, I witnessed was victim of and perpetrated oppression. The unspoken systematic oppression that many of us internalized as kids is what I want to address today. The narrative that we've been fed about our worth, our place in society and our power, or more accurately, lack of power to create change or influence or input and participate in society. I grew up being told that it is not my place to think or question anything that I was told about the world, how laws are created, and how many of you here know your human rights from being taught them in school? Because I wasn't and I don't. If something wasn't fair, well that's life. I'd better grow up and get used to it because the sooner I did, what? In my Asian household, my mother always told me to study hard and become a useful person because that was what her mother told her and that was what we aspired to be, useful. To whom? I have learned that this sentiment is echoed in a multitude of ways. If you want to change your own situation, you study hard, get a good job and you earn lots of money. We are taught to value ourselves by how useful we are to the system. But the system that we live in is rigged against us. Yet that is the only option that we are given. We are actively taught not to have the confidence to pursue degrees or jobs outside of capitalism that don't conform with capitalism. The very same capitalism that pushes for economic growth and development at the cost of our planet and our lives. Yeah. The richest who own the corporations and companies we work for count on us believing this narrative. Life expectancy differs about 20 years between those born rich and the rest of us. They count on us working hard, earning them money, don't forget that, believing that we will climb the ladder and gain wealth just like they have. But that's a lie. We are not all born equal and we do not all have equal opportunities. How many stories have you heard of honest people working hard all their lives only to die before receiving a penny of their pensions? Don't forget that while the rich get richer just from owning things, it will be the global poor that are hit hardest by climate change. We all suffer the consequences of the few, of the decisions and the actions of the few. The few who have wealth and power, their short-sighted decisions motivated by greed and apathy for humanity and their actions which have resulted in the extinction that we face today. Extinction Rebellion was born from a need to address this environmental meltdown. We are facing extinction if we don't change the system and act now. And I don't know about you, but I'm scared shitless. Hey. 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 I 
Good vaping, all sorts of existential crises at the moment, especially that midlife one, and I'm 20. Thinking about my death and putting my life into perspective, the things that I've done, the things that I want to do from now. Young people, we are familiar with the predicament that we are in. The housing crisis, the dwindling jobs, we are pitted against each other in cannibalistic competition. The stats on students struggling with mental health are staggering. We all have experiences and personal stories to tell. And there is no shame in struggling with mental health. The changes and solutions we are pushing for with Extinction Rebellion will result in a complete system change, a necessary one that will address the many facets of inequality that we face. We will not accept corrupt governments and judicial bodies bribed by corporations anymore. We will not accept biased news and misinformation anymore. What we need is real democracy and real power over our futures. It's up to us. It's up to you. It's up to me to recognize the power that we have as individuals and dare to dream, to reach out and grasp our futures together. Thank you.